The Universal Virtual Cultural Exploration YouTube channel embarks on an enthralling journey through the rich tapestry of the Fulani people, unveiling their captivating narrative woven with complexity, resilience, and cultural diversity. In the 17th and 18th centuries, the Fulani emerged as key figures in West African history, with luminaries like Usman and Fodio, establishing the Fulani Empire. Their story traverses continents and centuries, reflecting the intricate interplay of migration, conquests, and cultural adaptations. The Fulani's origins, rooted in Futa Toro, have long intrigued scholars. Linguistic evidence traces the historical movement from west to east, revealing a dynamic narrative of encounters with diverse African tribes influenced by Berber migrations. The Fulani, as the world's largest nomadic group, embody a diverse population shaped by the spread of Islam and conquests that assimilated various communities into their fold. The channel delves into the Fulani's societal fabric, highlighting their deep appreciation for beauty, expressed through intricate tattoos and distinctive features like the blackish color of a Fulani woman's lips. Nomadic herding, centered around priced cattle, reflects their wealth and status, yet sparks conflicts with local farmers, underscoring the complexities of coexistence in West Africa. Traditional ceremonies, such as spear duels marking the coming of age, showcase the Fulani's emphasis on bravery and fearlessness, while legal restrictions due to safety concerns add a contemporary dimension to their cultural practices. The channel explores the Fulani's commitment to preserving their unique heritage amid external influences and modernization, raising poignant questions about the potential impact on their nomadic identity. The Fulani's respect for a strict caste system, dividing them into nobility, merchants, blacksmiths, and descendants of slaves of wealthy Fulani, adds another layer to their intricate social structure. The adoption of Islam, particularly the Maliki school, plays a central role in shaping their religious, political, and social structures throughout history. As modes of transportation modernize, the Fulani face the risk of losing their nomadic identity, compelling settlements in farms and villages. This shift prompts contemplation on the preservation of Fulani culture and its repercussions on societal dynamics. The channel unfolds the Fulani's dynamic story, navigating the delicate dance between tradition and change revealing a resilient people, contributing a unique chapter to West African diversity and heritage. Historical perspectives on the Fulani's entry into Senegal from North and East Africa add depth to their narrative. The channel explores conflicting theories, ranging from North African or Arabic ancestry to genetic evidence, suggesting an indigenous West African origin. Linguistic ties with Arabic and Berber, showcased in the Fulani language here, underscore their historical interactions with North Africa. 
religiously. The Fiori's adoption of Islam and adherence to some Muslim practices reveal a deep-seated commitment, shaping not only their spiritual beliefs, but also influencing political and social structures. The Fiori's rise to political dominance, led by figures like Usman and Fodio, culminated in the establishment of empires and jihad states, showcasing the intricate intertwining of religious and political authority. The channel further explores the Fiori's nomadic past, contributing significantly to West African economic landscapes through trade routes and cattle herding. Their clash with settled agricultural communities highlights the complexities of balancing traditional life spells with evolving societal norms. Cultural practices, such as intricate tattoos and spear duels, become vivid expressions of human identity, while adherence to a strict caste system adds nuances to their social fabric. The Universal Virtual Cultural Exploration Channel provides a comprehensive and immersive exploration of the Fulani people. From their origins and historical complexities to their cultural practices, societal structures, and challenges posed by modernization, the channel unfolds a nuanced narrative of a resilient people, navigating the complexities of a changing world while holding onto the core elements that define their identity. The Universal Virtual Cultural Exploration Channel embarks on an expansive odyssey delving ever deeper into the intricate tapestry of the Fulani people, enveloping viewers in a sweeping saga that spans the ages. From the 17th and 18th centuries, luminaries such as Usman and Fodio etched their indelible mark on the annals of West African history sculpting the rise of the Fulani Empire and setting the stage for a narrative that transcends borders and epochs. The fulcrum of this exploration pivots on the enigmatic origins of the Fulani, veiled in the lists of Futa Toro, a sanctuary from which linguistic evidence unfurls, the saga of their migration, a West to East Odyssey, echoing through the corridors of time. Encounter after encounter with diverse African tribes, stirred by Berber movements, unfurls tales of conquest, a testament to the intricate dance of assimilation, woven into the very fabric of West African history and culture. The Fulani, a kaleidoscope of diversity within the world's largest nomadic group, encapsulates a captivating narrative of convergence, shaped by the tendrils of Islam. The channel meticulously peels back the layers to reveal the Fulani's societal mosaic a canvas painted with a profound reverence for beauty, etched through intricate tattoos, and a distinctive blackish hue, adorning a Fulani woman's lips, an aesthetic emblem, emblematic of their nomadic pride. Nomadic herding, an age-old dance through the vast landscapes of West Africa, unfolds as a symphony of wealth measured by priced cattle. Yet, in this dance, echoes of discord reverberate with conflicts, particularly with local farmers whose fields bear the brunt of grazing herds, 
Name there the intricate complexities of coexistence in the region. The channel casts a spotlight on traditional ceremonies, one's rites of passage, marked by spear duels embodying bravery and fearlessness. Yet, these rites, steeped in historical significance, find themselves ensnared in the labyrinth of legal restrictions, a poignant intersection of tradition and contemporary concerns. This tightrope walk underscores the Fiori's unwavering commitment to preserving their cultural heritage amid the gusts of change. As the wheels of modernization rev up across West Africa, the Fiori stand at a crossroads, teetering on the precipice of losing their nomadic identity. Settlements in farms and villages, a stark departure from their historical nomadic lifestyle, cast shadows over the preservation of their cultural essence prompting a profound contemplation on the dynamic trajectory of Fulani culture and its impact on societal dynamics. The channel intricately explores the Fulani's respect for a stringent caste system, a social architecture that shapes interactions, economic roles, and inherited statuses. Divided into nobility, merchants, blacksmiths, and descendants of slaves of wealthy Fulani, this caste system adds yet another layer to the mosaic of their identity, a rich tapestry woven with threads of tradition and social stratification. In the realm of religion, the Fulani's embrace of Islam, particularly under the Maliki school, stands as a pillar of their identity. This religious foundation, more than a spiritual compass, serves as the guiding force that has sculpted their political and social landscapes across the epochs. The channel navigates through the corridors of history, Tracing the Fiori's rise to political dominance in the 17th and 18th centuries, culminating in empires and jihad states. A panoramic sweep over the Fiori's expansive diaspora, numbering around 38 million and dispersed across 18 African countries, offers a vista into the challenges of balancing tradition and modernity. A resilient people, their story is an unfolding tapestry rooted in migration, conquests, and cultural adaptation, playing out against the ever-shifting backdrop of a world in metamorphosis. Historical perspectives offer divergent views on the Fiori's entry into Senegal, leaving a narrative that oscillates between North African or Arabic ancestry and genetic evidence, pointing towards an indigenous West African origin. Linguistic ties, anchored in the Fiori language here, draw connections with Arabic and Berber, casting shadows of historical interactions with North Africa. Religion emerges as a cornerstone of Fulani identity, with Islam not merely a belief system but a force that has shaped their spiritual, political, and social topography. The rise of empires, led by Fulani leaders known as Emirates, paying the vivid tableau of the confluence of religious and political authority, a narrative interwoven with the threads of history. The Fulani's nomadic past, etched across the Sahel grasslands, 
Left to the edible world from West African history. Trade routes, cattle herding, and interactions in local markets not only contributed to the economic landscape, but also served as conduits for the exchange of news, spreading information across West Africa. Yet, this nomadic heritage, the hallmark of Fulani identity, now stands at a precipice. Modernization, with its relentless march, poses an existential threat to the nomadic way of life. Settlements in farms and villages, necessitated by changing transportation modes, Beckon the Fulani towards an unfamiliar terrain, challenging the very essence of their cultural identity. The channel leads viewers through the intricate corridors of Fulani linguistic diversity, where the Fulani language, Fula, emerges as a testament to their adaptability. Dialects such as Futa Toro, Futa Jalan, Mazina, Sokoto, and Adam echo a historical migration pattern, leaving a linguistic tapestry that reflects both unity within diversity, and the echoes of their migration across West Africa. Most Fulani, being Muslims, possess the unique ability to read and write Arabic, demonstrating a linguistic versatility that mirrors their adaptability to different cultural and historical contexts. The channel weaves through the linguistic landscape, showcasing the Fiori's commitment to education and linguistic diversity, Echoing a resilience that spans beyond cultural and historical challenges. The Fiori's emergence in the historical record traces the millennium, nestled within the Senegambia region, contributing significantly to the rise of the Empire of Ghana. The channel navigates through their nomadic lifestyle, a dance across the vast plains of Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, and Guinea, establishing trade routes and shaping the economic fabric of the region. In the 16th century, figures like Tengwana Kali Rose, leading nomadic Fulani rebellion against a limiting grazing space, setting in motion a series of events that reshaped the political landscape. The 18th century ushered in a period of Fulani power, expanding southward and eastward, brushing against the oil empire and marking a chapter in West African history. Guided by religious and political motivations, Religious fervor, encapsulated in jihads or holy wars, became a fulcrum of Fulani expansion. Figures like Usman Dan Fodio, an architect of centralized Fulani empires, sought not only political dominance, but also religious reform, etching their legacy as leaders of jihad states invoking a confluence of religious and political authority that resonates through the centuries. In the 21st century, the Fulani, numbering approximately 38 million, stand at a crossroads, facing the challenges of a changing world while holding onto the core elements that define their identity. The channel unfolds a narrative of resilience, diversity, and adaptation, encapsulating the Fiori's journey through time, 
Revealing a people whose story continues to evolve against the backdrop of a dynamic and ever-changing West Africa. The rise to political dominance occurred in the 17th and 18th centuries, with key figures like Asmund and Fodio, establishing the Fulani Empire. Migration patterns, influenced by Berber movements, brought the Fulani into contact with various African tribes, often resulting in conquest. The Fiumi's story is one of complexity and diversity, spanning centuries and continents, reflecting the intricate tapestry of West African history and culture. The origin of the Fiumi has long been a matter of curiosity and conjecture among scholars. However, it is generally accepted that the forebears of all Fiumi Living in the Western Sudan came from the future Toro. Linguistic evidence supports the view that historically Fulani movement was from West to East. This is so because, although the Fulani language is spoken by considerably more than millions through M. Senegal to at least for day east of Lake Chad, only in the Senegal area are genetic relationships traced with local languages. Fongui, in describing Lusuan, speak of him as having been inspired by God, being extremely learned, having a likable personality, and having been a persuasive preacher. The chapter explores some features of pastoral, social and political life during the period of the Fulani Empire and also the social changes following the establishment of the Protectorate. The Fulani people of West Africa are the largest nomadic group in the world. As a group, they contain a vast array of diverse people who were conquered and became a part of the Fulani through the spread of Islam. The Fulani people's dynamic narrative extends beyond political and religious realms, encompassing social structures, cultural practices, and their interactions with neighboring communities. The Fulani's societal fabric is woven with a deep appreciation for beauty, expressed through intricate tattoos adorning their bodies. Notably, the blackish color of a Fulani woman's lips, often a result of henna or tattooing, serves as a distinctive feature, reflecting the importance placed on aesthetics. Beyond the adornments, the Fulani people maintain a strong sense of pride, evident in their nomadic herding lifestyle. Cattle, the most prized possessions in Fulani society, serve as a measure of wealth. However, this centrality of cattle has sparked conflicts, particularly with local farmers as the herds occasionally graze on their fields, revealing the complexities of coexistence between different livelihoods in West Africa. Traditional ceremonies, such as spear duels marking the coming of age for young boys, showcase the Fiori's emphasis on bravery and fearlessness. While such rituals have historical significance, some have faced legal restrictions due to safety concerns. These cultural practices underscore the Fiumi's commitment to preserving their unique heritage, even as external influences and modernization pose challenges to their traditional way of life. 
as modes of transportation modernize across West Africa. The Fulani face the risk of losing their nomadic identity. Settlements in farms and villages become a necessity, presenting a stark contrast to the historical lifestyle. This shift raises questions about the preservation of Fulani culture and the potential impacts on their societal dynamics. The Fulani's respect for a strict caste system further shapes their social structure. Divided into nobility, merchants, blacksmiths, and descendants of slaves of wealthy Fulani, this caste system influences various aspects of their lives, including social interactions, economic roles, and inherited statuses. In the realm of religion, the Fulani's adoption of Islam as their core faith plays a central role in their identity. The Maliki school of Islam guides their religious practices, encompassing obligations such as praying five times a day, reciting the Quran, fasting, pilgrimage to Mecca, and almsgiving. This religious foundation has not only shaped their spiritual beliefs, but has also influenced their political and social structures throughout history. The Fulani people, numbering around 38 million and spread across 18 African countries, face the challenges of balancing tradition and modernity. Their story, rooted in migration, conquest, and cultural adaptation, continues to unfold, revealing a resilient people, navigating the complexities of a changing world while holding onto the core elements that define their identity. The origins of the Fulani people are highly disputed. Some believe that they are of North African or Arabic origin, characterized by the lighter skin and straighter hair. Some Africans even refer to them as white people. However, recent studies show that they descend from nomads, from both North Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa. The Fulani were the first group of people in West Africa to convert to Islam through jihads, or holy wars, and were able to take over much of West Africa and establish themselves not only as a religious group, but also as a political and economical force. The Fulani are a very proud people. They are the missionaries of Islam and continue to conquer much of West Africa. The Fulani are primarily nomadic herders and traders. Through their nomadic lifestyle they established numerous trade routes in West Africa. Many times the Fulani go to local markets and interact with the people getting news and spreading it through much of West Africa. The most important object in Fulani society is cattle. There are many names, traditions, and taboos concerning cattle. The number of cows a person owns is a sign of his wealth. This has caused significant conflict in recent months between the Fulani and other ethnic groups. Thai.